Right, we're with um, Dr. Samuel Ramsey at my hives. It's uh, a winter's day and as you can see he's working and we're looking for Varroa. As you know I only use essential oils but we'll always find some Varroa exactly. and you can see it looks like there's it's, the queen is not on this frame so okay you got to verify that first before you shake them. So we're going to cover them in powdered sugar that will dislodge the Varroa mites and then I will take them back for genetic analysis. Excellent, excellent. Looking good. I think this is a good frame so, for it. Okay. Beautiful brood. Beautiful brood and a lovely pattern. Yes. This is sort of a very close Irish black bee or native bee. Mm -hmm. And Sammy, let's go shake That's and right. rock and roll. So we didn't have the typical shaker apparatus available to us, so we're making do with some kitchen supplies. Yes. Um, but it's working out really well. I'm sorry, Jim Carroll, we forgot the wee shaker. <laughs> All right. Here Ready, we go. Set, go. Perfect. I'll put this frame back in. Sugar. Put on that. Okay. Frame back in, it's 10 degrees outside, but the bees are happy. Yes, they are. And uh, they're not nowhere interested in us at all. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. I uh, just got a nice sugar bath. <laughs> Dr. Yeah, Ramsey is. Go on, set. shake, rock, and roll. Shake, <laughs> rock, and roll. So you're supposed to shake them for about a minute, give them a little time, and then go for another minute. And you'll have uh, used the sugar to dislodge the mites. It's sort of the same principle as uh, as using uh, using those little suction cups to stick your phone to your the window in your your car. When the dust gets on the other side of it, it causes it not to make adequate purchase, and then it slides off the window. Think about the mites' foot pads like suction cups. So when the powdered sugar gets on there, they can't stick to the bees the way they normally would. They fall right off. So the shaking helps to make sure that. All the sugar gets to where it's supposed to be. And of course when you put these back in the hive they get licked off and uh, Exactly. Yeah. They're probably pretty happy with it. <laughs> I think I'll try covering myself in my in sugar and see what my wife does. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. second and I'll start shaking again. All right. You like this base, Sammy? Not one of us, one of them have attacked us on a cold day. Wonderful. And they've had a, a lot of opportunities to attack yeah. my ankles and have not. Yeah. Kind of impressed. Good. <laughs> Good. Usually though, that's the thing you say and then you immediately get stung. Always the way. <laughs> Always the way. All right. I think we are good here. So now, I don't need you ladies anymore. I appreciate you letting me take your mites. But now I'm going to put you back where you belong. You all right with that? They have no say in the matter whatsoever. <laughs> so here we go. They're all there. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. We've got a few that have decided to stay behind. That's because we forgot Jim's uh, yeah. apparatus. Yeah. So, you know, we we may do with what we have. <laughs> and it's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to get those in here. These are really nice bees, they you are. know, really. I'm impressed, sir. Thank you for that, Sammy. Nothing but the best for you, mate. <laughs> I appreciate it. You cannot say you've got stung at Michael Young's apron. Not a single time. Okay, I think we have what we need, sir. Mava, this is for you. Just moved into the home of Michael and Ray Young. Talk away, Sammy, for me, please. So, there are mites in this powdered sugar. There's also a few bees in here. 
So I'm going to do what I can to sift out the mites. Be sure they're not going to fall through. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Have a look, Sammy. So if you notice, there's a couple insects in there. Okay. Um, there's uh, an aphid right here. But what we're looking for is this little guy. That is Varroa destructor. Oh, covered in powdered right. sugar. So it might be a little bit difficult to see, but that is a live Varroa mite. And let's see, we need a bottle to put it in. All right, so uh, we've got to be able to preserve the mites really well. And so uh, for us to be able to do a good genetic analysis, we need to preserve them in alcohol. All right, so I'm going to... Um, you need the brush, sure. is it? Uh, let me grab a paper towel. I'm going to dry this off a little bit, and then I'm going to go for round two. All right, so there's powdered sugar and just a few bees still inside of that, uh, that bin. I'm going to shake them through and sieve out the mites. Okay. So you want a very fine sieve because the mites are pretty small. They're about one millimeter in length. And so you want a sieve that's just fine enough to let the sugar through but not the mites themselves. And as you can see, there's a little bee in there walking around enjoying its life. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. The aphid, oh, there we go. There are some Varroa right in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's wonderful. Excellent. That's wonderful, Michael. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Tell my bees. It's wonderful. Well, we, we've actually took them out so they're protected. Exactly. And, and uh, that's great. It's wonderful for the research. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Got another one here. Two. Three. So this is, um, this is the conglomerate of three colonies. This is Which not, is not bad now. Come yeah, on. I agree. I only use essential oils, as you know. But you know something, Sammy? Do you want people to post you a little bottle now that you've seen it? Uh, to post me a little bottle? To your research center. Uh, do you mean like send their mics? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be wonderful. Well, there um, you are now. I'm Thailand. sure. Yeah. Four. I'm sure they would be glad to send some of their mites to you for research. Oh, that would be wonderful. Six. Okay. Get on in there. And seven. Let's see what else we got. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, I'm gonna go back for another round of powdered sugar. We've got seven in there right now, which is wonderful. How many do you need for uh um so minimum six? Alright, okay. And so we are already but the more you get the, the better uh, for genetic analysis. Okay. So you want good, you want a good uh, spread of, of diversity there, and since this is all from the same apiary, it, it would be good for us to look at what we've got here. So really, if you've got, if you need six, mm -hmm. and you've got more than six, we mm -hmm. could put the rest back. But the rest, yes, <laughs> we could put the rest back. I know how much you uh, want to keep your mite populations up. Let's see. Oh, we've got a bunch in here. Oh, yeah. One. Do you see them? Uh, yeah. Hanging around in there. There's quite a lot of mites out of three hives, really, isn't it? Um, or is it not? I mean, Not this time of year. Yeah. So what you want to consider is that all of the mites, 11, are on the adult bee population right now. Because yeah. there's... Well, actually, no, you had a good deal of brood in there. Yeah. So, um, no, these, this, this is uh, quite a, a few mites. But remember, this is not your standardized 300 bees sort of thing. Yeah. We yeah. just dumped a huge number of bees yeah. into a bin. So honestly, uh, in order to really evaluate that, you've got to assess the, the size of the population of each colony. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it would be better for you to do a typical mite check of 300 bees, uh, right. so half a cup of bees, and uh, dump powdered sugar on them and see how many mites you have per 100 bees. Okay, that's really exciting. Oh yeah, I agree. I think I've lost count now, but I know we've got over 15, so that's great. So quantity of powdered sugar really is less than uh, 400 grams yeah. we've used today. Yeah, so not really that much. No, it's not. 
Have you enjoyed being over here? Oh, I've loved being here. You better know with certainty that I will be back to the Emerald Isles. That's sir. great. So you were at County Louth, <laughs> which was brilliant. Uh, that Louth was lovely. And then beekeepers. Uh, Offaly mm-hmm. beekeepers. Yeah. I and I beekeepers. Yep. So you really had a good time. And oh, yeah. you're happy with the hospitality and everybody treated you? I loved the hospitality. Um, I also realized that I... Cannot deal with the portion sizes here. Uh, you guys uh, have much larger stomachs than I am used to. Mm-hmm. If my friends back in the U.S. could see the size of the fish and chips you served me that time. That was um, a small portion size. Mm, was it really? <laughs> the fish was far wider than this, this <laughs> bin right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is wonderful, Michael. This is more than 20 mites. I hope Geraldine and Jim Carroll are watching it. Geraldine really looked after us, didn't she? <laughs> she did. Oh, wow. She did. Geraldine, you're awesome. Ah, Geraldine, awesome. I enjoyed you so much. You're such a funny, uh, awesome host, and I enjoyed that apple crumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike is the husband. Did you see so, so many books? Yes. Incredible. Ah. Yeah, that's incredible. Right, Mike. Yeah, and don't forget Jim Carroll and Bridget. Oh, yes, absolutely. Bridget's lovely bread. Yes. And Bridget's. trying to give us French butter <laughs> against <laughs> Irish butter. <laughs> that is totally criminal. Uh, Jim and Bridget were wonderful. And thank you so much for the hive tags, Jim. I will definitely be using those on my... I've got 48 colonies that I need to be able to distinguish between uh, in Thailand. And uh, yeah. I mean, this is definitely the largest amount of colonies that I've ever managed by far. So it's good to have... Good to have some nice new hive tags that are waterproof because it is the rainy season and yeah. my hive tags are falling apart. Okay, I think that's all of the mites. Okay. Yep, looks like. And for, and for uh, history, you have to say uh, hello to Ray. Of course, of course. Hi, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being such a wonderful host, for putting up with me and all of my, uh, all of my requests. <laughs> Uh, I need a lot of blankets in my life. Ah, uh, yes, mm-hmm. I do. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's how I sleep. That's what we're good at. Irish hospitality is from, <laughs> it's famous all over the world. It should be famous all over the world. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got more than enough here. This is absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to see uh, how the analyses go for this. Okay. That's brilliant. Close it down. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs>